Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Gaylor from Gaylor Property Service and this is my dump trailer as you've seen in the last video. I've still got it loaded down full of stuff. We haven't went to the dump yet. But I'm gonna in this video I'm gonna show y'all the very first thing I bought for this trailer. Something that's probably the best investment you can do for your trailer or some kind of whatever expensive trailer you have. That is a Fort Knox lock. There was Fort Knox and Proven Industries. Those are the two top ones, like I seen, like the two highest rated ones I seen on the market. All the other cheaper ones, I seen ways of breaking into them. I seen videos of people breaking into them. So I think Proven Industries and Fort Knox, lock, Fort Knox locks are the best two. The reason I went, went with Fort Knox was their locks seem better than the Proven Industries. There's some videos of the Proven Industries getting drilled into and picked. Here's the front of my trailer with the Fort Knox locks. You can see it's a very, very secure, very strong. This is the Abloy steel lock. It is their highest end lock they offer. It was like $100 by itself. This lock was like $270 something, I believe. So close to $300. But to, to protect a $6,000 trailer, I think that's a no brainer. It has the chains all inside of it, so no one can back up to your trailer and hook your chains up to their truck and drag it off. See the chains are all wrapped up, nice and tight, and inside the lock. The Proven Industries also does that. The Fort Knox, they don't actually advertise that you can put the chains inside of it, not that I've seen, but you can. You can see they're all inside of it. So I'm going to show you how to get this off from what I, like just from playing with it, I put my knee underneath it, that way it doesn't go flying off and hit the ground. So, key in, unlock it, there's the how the lock works, just got a cylinder that goes through there, and then with my knee underneath it I can open it up, and there's the chains all tied together. And there's the coupler undone and then put it back on put the coupler down put the this part inside your coupler where the ball would be put your knee under it and then your chains you want to twist them up that just takes any of the slack out of them that way nobody can back up to your trailer and hook up to your hook your chains up to their truck and pull off so I'm going to put this side in and put it up front. You want the, on the lock, you actually want the bottom of it totally flat against the bottom of the coupler. So put your chain inside, put your other chain inside, and actually hook your chains together in front of the coupler. That way, there's enough room back here behind the locks that you can pull the chains out. If you hook them together, there's no way you can pull them out. So that's all that takes. The front of the little coupler claps thing, the, the little ball lock like that you shut to lock your ball in, it rubs up against the back of it. You don't have to have it in, I don't think, but you might as well. And then with the cylinder thing down on the lock, put it in, push your key up, twist your key a full turn, pull it down. There we go. It's all locked up. There's a little bit of play in it. Somebody could actually put a pry bar in there, but I've seen videos of people trying to pry these open and you can't really do it. My chains are all pretty tight. No way they can hook to them, like hook their truck to them. <clears throat> the only thing they could do is have their own chains or something and come back here and pull the trailer off like that but they won't be using your chains. So I think this lock's gonna be pretty good. I think it's probably the best one on the market, especially with this higher end lock. I think this lock should be better than the Proven Industries one. I don't know, I've never had one, but just from seeing videos of people drilling into them or picking out the actual key lock, I think this one should be stronger. And it was actually a little bit cheaper than the Proven Industries. So I think this is, going to be a huge improvement of leaving especially if I start renting this trailer out 
I definitely knew I wanted something like this to leave at people's houses. Because who knows where you're going to be leaving this, and who knows what people's going to be driving around looking for trailers to steal. And hopefully if they see this on this trailer, they'll drive past it and go steal somebody else's. So thanks for watching, and go check out Fort Knox Locks. They didn't give me this. I didn't... They don't even know I exist if for shipping me this. I went on their website, seen some videos of theirs, researched them, and spent my money on them. So I think if I got any more of these trailers, I'd probably be getting more of these locks. Thanks for watching, and check back next time to see what else we're doing with the business. See y'all. Bye.